Good evening. My name is Justin Castaneda. I am the Senior Patrol Leader of Troop 76 and Masters of Ceremonies for this evening. We welcome all Scouts, leaders, parents, friends, and distinguished guests to this Eagle Court of Honor for Daniel Girardi. Please rise while the Honor Guard escorts the candidate to the front, and please remain standing while we pledge allegiance to the flag. Hand over heart or scout salute. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. By the authority vested in me by the Connecticut Rivers Council and National Council of Boy Scouts of America, I declare this court of honor convened. Please be seated. <clears throat> Ladies and gentlemen, mothers and fathers, friends and honored guests, I introduce Eagle Scout Daniel. Tommy Kim will lead us in an invocation. We thank you, Lord, for this day and this evil court of honor. Be with us as we celebrate the achievements of scouts and our troop, and as we move forward on the path toward evil. We give thanks for the parents and leaders who have given us this opportunity in our lives. Help us to remember that all things come from you and your hand, and to see your hand in all our accomplishments. Amen. Johnny Gear Bradford will now tell us what it means to be.
primary responsibility of an Eagle Scout is to live with honor. To an Eagle Scout, honor is the foundation of all character. He knows the vast importance of living honorably and the significance of setting a positive example for other Scouts. Living honorably reflects credit on his home, his troop, and his community. May the white Eagle badge remind you of all to live with honor. Is loyal. He is true to his family, scout leaders, his school, friends, and his country. His loyalty to his troop and other scouts is demonstrated in his willingness to pitch in and carry his share of the load. His lo loyalty conveys devotion to the community, to country, and to one's ideals. May the blue of the eagle badge always inspire your loyalty. Responsibility to give service to others. He extends a helping hand to those that aspire to follow the Eagle Trail. Just as others helped him in his climb to Eagle, he will continue to support the troop. The Eagle stands as a protector of the weak and helpless. He will comfort the unfortunate and oppressed. He will uphold the rights of others while defending his own. He will always do what is right and put forth his best. You are deserving of much credit to him and having achieved Scouting's highest progress award. Wear your award with humility, ever mindful that the Eagle Scout is always setting an example for others. May the Scout Oath and Law be your guide for tomorrow and into the future. Will the Honor Guard please escort Daniel's parents to stand beside their son? Be master of his own powers. 
helps him get along with others, and develop the basis for being a good citizen. I believe it is my duty to obey the scout oath and scout law. I hereby renew my faith in scout and promise to do what I can in service to other scouts who have not come this far along the Eagle Trail. The award of the Eagle Badge is an important and serious event. It is the culmination of efforts of troop leaders and fellow scouts and of the scout himself. The Eagle Award is the highest and most respected in scouting. Daniel, the Boy Scouts of all nations constitute one of the most meaningful and significant movements in the world's history. You have been counted worthy of the highest rank in its membership. All those you know rejoice in your achievement. Your position, as you well know, is one of honor and responsibility. You have assumed a solemn duty to your God, your world, and to humanity. This is a great undertaking. As you live up to your obligations, you bring honor to yourself, your parents, and to the Boy Scouts. Dominic Girardi will now lead the Eagle Charge. I charge you to take your citizenship with solemn dedication, be a leader, but only lead towards the best. Lift up every task you do and every office you hold to the highest level of service to all people and to the Mother Earth. Live in service so that those who know you will be inspired by your example, and so that with other, whatever others may do, you will be behind the record which you can discuss. Do you accept this job? I do. Thank you to the Eagle Scouts that have come forward in support of the recipient, and you may return to your seat. Mr. Girardi, please remove your son's troop neckerchief and put the eagle neckerchief around his neck. Daniel, please present your mother and father their eagle pins.
Please present the flowers to your mother.
that we who are gathered in this court of honor for Troop 76, Boy Scouts of America, Simsbury, Connecticut, join in recognition of the accomplishments of Daniel I. Girardi and express our admiration and congratulations upon his attainment of the rank of Eagle Scout on April 12, 2014. On behalf of the people of Simsbury, and witness whereof I have placed my hand in the great seal of the town of Simsbury, dated this 12th day of April, 2014, with Mary A. Glass. John Deere Bradford, 
and I'll read names from Governor Daniel Pino.
serve as an exceptional example of the capabilities of young people throughout our country and the state of Connecticut. I am proud to represent you as one of my many constituents in the U.S. Senate. Congratulations again, and I wish you the best of luck in all your future endeavors. Sincerely, Christopher S. Lewis. Chris Harwell will now read greetings from our President and Mrs. Obama. Congratulations on earning the rank of Eagle Scout. We hope you make you take tremendous pride in the hard work and commitment to service that brought you to this moment. This achievement speaks to your role as a young leader in your community. We encourage you to continue taking on new projects, setting a positive example, and striving to make a difference. Young people like you give us great hope for the future, and we wish you all the best. Sincerely, Barack Obama and Michelle Obama. Harvey Whelan will now read greetings from the Connecticut Rivers Council.
Dear Daniel, please accept my congratulations on this important occasion of earning your distinction as Eagle Scout. Your ability to earn the highest rank in scouting speaks not only to your hard work and dedication, but also to your sense of community. I understand that your Eagle, Eagle Service project involved leading a team to redo the landscaping of the Memorial Garden at the Apple Barnes in Fair. As a result of your efforts, a World War II Veterans Memorial regained prominence and is trimmed and replanted, and the trimmed and replanted area is now a place for all to enjoy, not only the garden, but the surrounding beach fields. I want you to know that your accomplishments in scouting grew separate and distinct from what you do here, certainly bring pride to St. Mary High School. Teachers, counselors, staff members, and other administrators join me in recognizing you today. We are very, very proud. Please er, enjoy the ceremony with your friends and family. You just earned your day in the sun. Proudly, your principal, Neil Sullivan. Many notable people and organizations recognize the high achievement of Eagle Scouts and have offered their congratulations to Daniel. A few examples are the National Park Service, Wendy's, Nintendo, National Geographic, and the Blue Angels. Special guest Deacon Arthur Miller from Danny's Church will now share a few words. Well, congratulations, Daniel. That's from the pool. <laughs> <laughs> I um, kind of was as strong for a moment. I watched as, as Dan uh, came over to support his, his scout friend. That's what a, an Eagle Scout is, when all around you are sitting, you're willing to stand up. So thank you for standing up when someone needed you. Um, congratulations, everyone. It is certainly a blessing to be here. Uh, I want you to know that um, I have a TV show, or I have one radio show, and I'm a deacon in the Catholic Church. I do a lot of public speaking around the country. And I am that little boy. I was so shy, I couldn't talk in front of people. I couldn't make it until someone pointed out that there was a light that was within me. And I, I was talking with, with Dominic uh, just a moment ago, and we were discussing that, that light that's within it comes from Matthew's Gospel, 10th chapter, verse 16, and it says, let the light shine that is within you, so that others may see your good deeds, and then glorify your Father. And to me, when I talk to kids about letting their light shine, I say to them, as I've said to myself when I had to find who I was, it's cool to be me. <laughs> it's cool to be me. And what that means is this, exactly who you are. It is understanding that I am good, that I can do things, and I don't have any choice because I can only be me. I can't be somebody else. When I was growing up, I wanted to be everyone else. I wanted to be the cool kids. I wanted to be the great athletes. I wanted to be everything but who I was until I finally realized that I only had the choice to be me, and I had to be the best me that I could possibly be, and that's what scouting is about, being the absolute best of who you are, taking the gift and the light that has been given you and making it extraordinary. Daddy, I've seen it. And that's who you are. It's cool to be you. It's cool to be you. And it's cool to be you. It's cool to be you. It's cool to be you and you and you and you and you and you and you. And if I had enough time, I'd point at every single one of you. Because I want you to do something. Every single one of you, even if you're sitting in the back looking like you're bored, I want you to say, it's cool to be me. It's cool to be me. Come on. It's cool to be me. It's cool to be me. <laughs> Do 
until you understand what I'm saying. I'm saying it's cool to be you. You don't have to be somebody else. Scouting is about being exactly who you are and being the very best at it. Doing the best in everything that you do. And that's all anyone can ask. That you always do your best. Daniel, yeah, you've done your best. Darlene and Dan, you've done your best. You have three wonderful children right now. And I congratulate you on what you've done. They are your reflection of the gifts and the joy, the promises, and the love that you're going to share. We are so proud of you, as is every single person here. One last thing, man. It's cool to be here. <laughs> Uh, he 
he was a great team player, always willing to help out, uh, as you saw just a little while ago. Uh, he's uh, always able uh, to, to go with the flow, um, uh, very driven um, in, in wanting to challenge himself. Uh, all of those things are great traits to have when you go to Philmont, which is why we asked him to step up and go with the older guys. Uh, and they're all characteristics, certainly, of uh, Eagle Scouts. Uh, the trip went extremely well. And by the way, there's awesome pictures. I'm told there's awesome pictures of our trip downstairs. Um, the trip went extremely well for everyone in both groups. Uh, Danny did a great job with the older guys. Uh, if he had concerns about his ability to keep up with them, uh, he certainly didn't show it. Uh, in fact, uh, while Danny's pretty laid back and reserved most of the time, he does have an ability to pull out a uh, sort of dry, low-key sense of humor uh, and be a joker every now and then, uh, and that was a, uh, a nice relief while we were while we were on the trail. I'm not sure, I'm not sure who he gets that from. Well, yes, I am. <laughs> uh, Danny, hopefully you enjoyed our trip to Philmont as much as I did and got as much out of it as I did. Um, it certainly has been uh, been a pleasure being in Scouts with you, and um, uh, I couldn't be more proud that you're here today. Would Assistant Scoutmaster Robert Johns please come forward to offer his remarks? I'm up here because Dan Carr is in South Carolina. Um, I'm not fond of doing this, as everybody knows, but I'm going to give it my best. Uh, one of the things I like about coming to this what the Eagle Course of Honor, these things right here, invariably I've heard a lot about the person who's being honored that I didn't know. You know, you think that over six, seven, eight years that you, you get to know everything about them, but you don't. And uh, there's so many uh, levels and layers and facets uh, to these guys. Uh, Danny, uh, Danny's a real Renaissance guy. He plays the violin. I didn't know that. Uh, got interest in it. Like, just, just incredible interest all over the place. Uh, and I, you know, so when, when, you, when you see these, you read them carefully because there's a lot in them. The other thing, uh, this, this is really funny. I, at one point, uh, Scott, you said, Danny goes with the flow. Goes with the flow. I wrote him each stole bit from me. <laughs> <laughs> because that's my impression of him, too. It's, uh, uh, when, I, when I think of his uh, characteristics, one of them is that he goes with the flow, and he can adjust midstream. Which he did obviously on that uh, uh, camping trip, you know, to, to be uh, thrown into a different group. Uh, I think that's, that's a pretty awesome characteristic. Um, another thing sitting there, one of the uh, the boys read a, uh, a line from National Headquarters. And this is equals. Uh, this is not the end of the trail, but the beginning. And that's absolutely true. I was talking to Dan, Dan's brother Don earlier and he was telling me about the, the doors that are beginning to open up to him now as a junior in college and uh, talking about where he wanted to go and, uh, and it just made me think about how it ties into what the national said. And every one of you guys you know, uh, you, know you, you don't know it yet, there's going to be a lot of doors open for you. Uh, and even more doors because you're in Um Now one of the things That I, that I picked up in the, uh, in the flyers that uh, Danny wants to go with his cousin Andrew? Andrew, okay. With his cousin Andrew on the Appalachian Trail wants to be a through hike. Okay, and uh, I just want to remind Danny that uh, uh, it's not too soon to start thinking of a trail name for yourself. Okay, everybody's got crazy trail names, but the, the protocol of the trail is that you can't name yourself. Somebody else has to name you. So I'm opening up a challenge to you guys over here 
they come up with a name for banning for his Appalachian Trail Act.
Bean and was one of the Hannon brothers, waiting for some easy prey. <laughs> <laughs> we knew what he was trying to do, and even with Chris begging him not to, he tipped our canoe over, and we were soaked. <laughs> and um, another great memory from scouting is Philmont. Um, there's no doubt about it that it's the best experience of my life, and I encourage everyone here to go to that one point. Um, the mountains and scenery were so beautiful that we had so many great experiences from whitewater rafting to biking down, the pike, biking down Pikes Peak Mountain to climbing to the top of Baldy Mountain. Baldy Mountain is the highest point in Vilma, so it's really cool to look out over everything around us. Our ranger that went with us for part of the trek, his name was Gordon, and he's easily the coolest person I've ever met. And it wasn't because he was a great guy, or he was, and he, but he looked like Captain America, and he told us all the stories about how he dated models. <laughs> Tommy Kim will now give the closing benediction. Lord, we thank you for the reward that we have received, and we thank you for the fellowship and guidance from the members of our troop. Help us to guide one another and serve our troop, community, and country to honor and glory. Glorify. May God bless us and protect us. May God show us favor and be gracious to us. May God show us kindness and grant us peace. Amen. Amen. Will the Eagle Scout and his parents please remain at the front of the sanctuary for your greetings and congratulations. Thank you all very much for coming. Please join Danny and his family in Palmer Hall for refreshments. Please sign the Eagle Banner to commemorate Danny's accomplishment, accomplishments in Palmer Hall. Please stand while the viewers play taps. strength.
depend to keep my mind awake and to follow paths of righteousness on my honor I'll do my best Loyal. Helpful. Friendly. Courteous. Kind. Brave. Clean. Reverend. To do my duty to God On my honor I'll do my best To serve my country as I may On my honor I'll do my best To do my good turn each day Keep my